through the advances that have been made in science, it's now possible for this fearful, historically unbearable, deepest and darkest, previously off-limits issue of the human condition to finally be explained and understood. We can at last explain why we humans have not been ideally behaved. To use um, religious terms, we can explain the origin of sin. And, and what's so wonderful, in fact so wonderful, it will transform your life and the lives of all humans, is that the explanation is compassionate. It explains that there's been a good reason for why we humans have not been ideally behaved. It's, it, it's an explanation that completely dignifies and redeems us. It, it reconciles um, the opposites of good and evil in our natures and by so doing makes us whole. I mean, the great psychoanalyst Carl Jung was forever saying wholeness for humans depends on the ability to own their own shadow because he recognised that only by finding understanding of the dark side of ourselves could we humans be made whole. And although it's an incredible claim, it's that all liberating and, and all redeeming and all healing and thus all transforming biological understanding of our imperfect human condition that's about to be presented. That greatest of all days in our human journey of conscious thought and inquiry. In fact, the day we have lived in, as we say, hope and faith and trust would one day come when biology would finally be able to explain the psychological origins of our species' deeply double, troubled um, predicament or, or condition has now, and, and in the nick of time, I'd say, arrived.